didn't see you there. Nah, I'm just joshing you. Back in the bait shop, you know what we got going on. Time to paint another glide. Let's get it. I mean, what up? All right, so I need to paint another translucent bone because when I was at the Classic, I had a little hankering on my heart to give mine to a certain pro. I'm not gonna say his name, not putting anybody on blast. No, he didn't win the Classic, but that would've been super cool if he would've won the Classic on my bait. That would've been, that would've been pretty freaking cool. He didn't, but we need to paint another one. So today, another translucent bone. Let's get it. First coat is pearl, real light pearl. Remember, we wanna keep it translucent. This thing sounds awesome. It's gonna be a sweet bait. Okay, next coat. Antique parchment is the one that I use, and like everybody knows already, I use the Walmart paints. This is Apple Barrel. It's this Apple Barrel. Nah, I lie. Apple Barrel. It's a super cheap uh, paint from Walmart. These things are like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 cents a piece. This is what I use. Anyways, after the pearl coat, everything real light, we're going to come back with this, and we're going to do a little bit around the head and eyes. We're going to do just above the fins and around the backside here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spray it at an angle to keep the paint from getting inside these uh, ridges here. After, oh, and a little bit on the back. We're gonna coat a little bit on the back with the antique parchment, which is my bone color that I like to use. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back with uh, some black. So this is matte black, and we're gonna spray it just over the top a little bit, dress up the fins, maybe a little bit around the eyes and the head, just kinda like to give the shadow effect around the gills and stuff. And that's it, translucent bone. It's super easy paint. Oh, and this bait actually comes with different tails. It comes with a black tail and a clear tail. I think I'm gonna go with black, but we'll decide that later. Yeah, get my gloves on right quick. All right, first thing, what do we do? Clean the bait, prep the bait, you know this. Skipping to all that stuff, we're going to the spraying part. All right, bait's prepped, loaded in the helping hands. Translucent bone, we gotta come up with a better name, translucent bone. Hey, you gotta, give me, give me something, give me, drop some comments down there. I don't know, ghost bone. I don't know. Come up with something. Y'all, help me out here. Anyways, we got our pearl loaded in the gun. Remember, we're mixing it thin. We're mixing it thin because we don't want it to be thick. We want it to be see-through. Let's get it. Just doing some drying. I'll get back to it. Yeah. Okay. First coat's on. Doesn't look like much. I get it. Trust the process. Let's go for another coat. Okay. The pearl coating is done. Looks sweet, huh? Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's it's there. Like I said, trust the process. Can't get over how awesome this thing sounds. Anywho, next we're gonna do the uh, antique parchment, which is my bone color. Remember, very light, thin. Mix it thin, very lightly. Head area, up the back, across the back, the little fin here. And remember, we're spraying at an angle this way down the fish. That way we don't fill in those lines, right? Because we want to keep those pearl, so you kind of get that little floss. The little floss as it shimmies, okay? All right, I'm gonna mix this up. We'll start spraying. Bones loaded, let's rock. All right, bone color is done. Kind of see that there? See that? No, you can't. But when you, when you see it, when it's done, then you're like, oh, okay, you were right, it looks good. Nah, I'm just playing. All right, let me clean the gun, get some black. Let's get that black on there. Ah, and the black is on. Just a little dusting, just a little dusting. Nice, huh? Not too bad. Okay, so all we did was we coated the, the top, kind of spraying it like this, like that, kind of getting a little overspray. What we're gonna do now is we're going to put just a little shot backwards on the head to get behind those gills to lighten it up. Give it that what I was trying to say is, uh, I already did it, right? Bad bait maker. Uh, you sprayed it off camera. Anywho, I sprayed a little bit at an angle this way. You can see it kind of darkens up those lines from the backside and just put ever so light a little bit of black on all the fins. Next, uh, we're gonna do, hmm, shad dot. Gotta have a shad dot. All right, ladies and gents, this one's done. Finished, like, super quick. Shad dot came out well, of course. Was one hard enough? Nah, it's good. Anywho, all right, next we need some uh, resin. Let's put that on. Almost caught me slipping again. We need an eye before we can resin. Duh. Going back with blue again. Blue, same, identical as the last bait. The blue looked amazing, so going back with that. Check it out.
Ow. We can apply resin. That blue looks so sick, huh? All right, get back with you in just a second. And just like that, a glide bait is born. Another one, and I am proud of this one. I like. I went with the smoke tail, smoke tail with all the black hardware, sticky hardware too. Looks pretty freaking sweet, man. Pretty freaking sweet. This thing is gonna chop like crazy too. Look at that bend. Can't wait to get this one in the water. But yeah, I needed this one because, like I said, other one handed out. No big deal. I like giving baits away. Mm -hmm. Any takers? Well, put your name in the hat. Give me some comments. Who knows, we might do a giveaway soon. Maybe, we'll see. You know the drill, I got stuff to do. Gotta get out of here. Catch y'all later.